If you completed the previous challenge, your app is looking pretty good. We can make it look even better by replacing the text view with something called a web view. A web view, like its name implies, can show web pages. All you have to do is give it the URL to a website or the name of a file to load. As you might guess, the web view object is called UI web view. For Bullseye, you'll include an HTML file into the app that includes some CSS styling in there, and you'll display it inside a web view. Let's try it out. Our goal is to replace this text view with a web view so we have more control over the styling of this. So I'll take this text view and delete it, and I'm going to add in here a web view instead. I'll just drag it in there and size it to be about the same size. Next, I actually need a web page to display. and the resources for this project, you'll see an HTML page that I created for you. And this is what it looks like. It just has some styled text and a little star around bullseye. And we're going to put that in that view right there. So we're going to drag that HTML file into our project, make sure that copy items of needed is selected, and make sure that the add to target is selected. Okay, so now we need to connect this web view to an outlet in our about view controller. So you should remember how to do that by now. We make an IB outlet, and we're gonna call it a weak var web view, which is a UI web view. Now we need to connect the web view to that outlet. So go back to our storyboard, and we'll control drag from the view controller down to that and choose the web view outlet that we created. Now we need to add a little bit of code to make the web page display inside the web view. And a good place to do this is in about view controller view did load. So first we need to get a URL to the HTML, which is within inside our own app bundle. You can think of the app bundle as all of the resources for the app. So we'll say if let URL equals bundle dot main, the main bundle of the app, URL, and then for resource with extension is what we want. So the resource we want is bullseye and the extension of the file is HTML. So this, this is saying if that file exists, then we have to get the HTML data for this URL. So we'll say if let HTML data equals try data, and the one we want down here is contents of URL. So what this is saying is try to get the content of this file into some data. And then we'll say let base URL equals URL file URL with path bundle.main.bundle path. And then finally we now that we have all this we can actually get the web view to load. So we'll just do web view dot load. And we have to pass in a number of things here. First we have to pass in the HTML data. Then we have to pass in the MIME type, which you want to put as text that slash HTML, and then the text encoding, which is going to be UTF-8, and finally a base URL, which we'll set to base URL. Now don't worry if you don't understand everything here. We'll be learning much more about how this all works when you learn about the programming at Swift section later in this course, but for now consider this just a preview of how that all works. So now I'm going to build and run and go to the info page and check it out. We now see the bullseye styled within HTML.